Hello everyone and welcome to Vegan and Beyond. Today we're going to be making an alkaline vegan chickpea scramble and coconut wraps along with a side salad with hemp dressing. And we're going to get started by making our chickpea. We're, I've got about a cup of chickpea flour and we're going to pour in a bowl. And I'm starting off with about a half a cup of spring water. Just pour it in there. And you'll know if you need a little bit more. It's supposed to be like a kind of a liquidy batter, not too thick, because we're not making pancakes. Um, I'm going to season with, I love onions. So I have about one tablespoon of onion powder. Oh, it kind of got stuck there. Half a taste, uh, half a tablespoon of basil, half a tablespoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of sea salt, and this is optional. It's Kanye pepper. I have about one fourth of it, but I like spice, so I will add. And now we're going to whisk all this together. And you see how it's kind of too thick? So we're going to add a little bit of more spring water. That should be good. So I'd say about another two tablespoons of water. Still too thick. Little bit more. I say about an extra one fourth. That should be good. See, that's perfect. You want it to be runny, you don't want it to be thick. Okay, now that's done. Now we're going to heat up our skillet medium high. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of avocado oil. You could use grapeseed oil, whichever you prefer. And now we're going to saute our veggies. And you could add any type of veggies you like. Um, I'm going to add mushrooms, onions, and peppers. Again, whatever veggie you prefer, you can add. Just like making your scrambled eggs, how you would add all type of veggies, same thing, same concept. So we're gonna wait till that gets hot. And the wraps that I'm gonna be using are coconut, organic coconut wraps. Um, I wanna say I got this off Amazon. I can't remember, I'm gonna double check. And I'm gonna put the link in the description below. So if you want to try them, you can just click on the link and order them. And this is, non-GMO, vegan, raw, gluten-free, paleo, and no salt added. And if you look at the ingredients, it's plain. It's organic meat, organic coconut water, organic virgin coconut oil. That's it, pure coconut. So we're gonna try these out today. And we're also gonna be doing a mango type dressing sauce for the wraps. And we're gonna be doing a hemp seed dressing for the salad. So I'm probably gonna add a few tablespoons of onions. Cause I'm making enough for, hopefully it's enough for four wraps. We shall see. And you add as much as you want. your preference. I'm also going to add some baby vellum mushrooms chopped up. I'm just going to let that cook. Let it cook. I'm going to let it cook to it's like 
semi-translucent, not too overly cooked, so you could have some type of bite to it. So let's give that a few minutes as it cooks, and we'll continue. Okay, so the veggies are pretty much cooked to my liking. I like it to have a little bit of crunch still. So now we are ready to add our chickpea batter, just like a scrambled egg. And I like to start off as making it into like an omelet. And I'll tell you why, because chickpea is, chickpea flour is very tricky. And it's a pain in the butt to cook because it's, you have to know how to let it cook for a while before you start chopping it up, because if not, it'll get sticky. So what I do is, I have learned to let it cook, like if you're doing an omelet, for about a minute. And then once that's done, we'll flip it, and then we'll start chopping it up and letting it cook, chopping it up and letting it cook until it looks literally like scrambled eggs. And it tastes so good. Literally, let it cook. And you'll know more or less when to flip when it starts bubbling up. So it's kind of like a pancake resemblance. So we'll let that cook for a little bit. And as I'm cooking, being that I intermittent fasting, um, I'm having my green juice for dinner. So don't mind me as I take little breaks here and there. Okay. So as you can tell, it's kind of like bubbling up. It's still kind of soft on the bottom. So I don't want to flip it just yet. But once you flip it, you'll notice it'll get real sticky as you start chopping it up. It's gonna look mushy, it's gonna look nasty. But I promise you, if you let it cook long enough, it's going to look <laughs> like it's supposed to look. Guarantee you. It's just a little tricky though. Just has a lot of wet batter still. So what I do is I kind of like and let it time to flip it's probably gonna look messy but like I told you trust the process let it cook and it will come out just fine my first time making this it was epic failure it looked a hot mess it was wet it was nasty I didn't like it I'm not even gonna lie but once I learned the trick on how to cook it and everything's in the seasoning. I mean, you have to know, you have to season it very good. That's how you can make anything taste good. I mean, shit, people eat dead bodies, literally. Chicken, steak, and all that stuff, that's blood. But what the hell do you use the seasoning with? Herbs and spices. So what makes you think this ain't gonna taste bomb? You know? All right, so I think we're about good to flip. It's probably, like I said, it's gonna look probably messy, but oh well. See? Kind of flip it, let that side cook before you start chopping it up, you know? Let it cook.
And as that's cooking, I'm gonna do the mango sauce and I'm using one mango. I cut one already and took it out, but I'm gonna show you like a little trick that I like to do, especially for pictures because I love, everything's about presentation. So I like to make everything look pretty. But this is also a quick way to get the mangoes out. Cut them lengthwise and then across. And you're gonna get this pretty little flower when you open it. You see? Very, very cute, especially for pictures, but we're not gonna do that right now, so I'm just gonna get a spoon and scoop it out and get this out the way. Just a quick way to get all the mango out versus having to cut all the skin off, then cut it, it's just too much of a mess. So to me, this is the easier way. All right, put that aside. This is starting ready to chop up, you see? If you let it cook long enough, it doesn't get sticky, it doesn't get mushy, the batter inside is pretty much getting there to where it's getting dried and cooked all the way. to make the mango sauce. And the mango sauce is like pretty, pretty plain, easy. Put this over there. So try to see, I have this new little gadget I bought. It's this little blender, it's a hand blender, but it also comes with these little accessories like a whisk and this to grind up and puree small easy soft um, veggies and fruit. So here I go, I have a whole, a whole mango chopped up, so I'm gonna put it in here. And to that, I'm going to add, let's see, probably a half a tablespoon. Yeah, half a tablespoon of ginger. I don't have fresh ginger. My fresh ginger, um, I ran out because I juiced. I juice a lot, so I used it all, and I didn't even realize it. But I do have ginger powder. So fresh ginger, ginger powder, either or. And that was a half a tablespoon. And let's see. I'm going to add... Probably like a few little specks of red pepper flakes, just to give it a little heat. Not too much, cause boy, these things ain't no joke. I think that's enough. All right, let's see how this works. Hopefully, put it all together. And we're gonna This 
this is actually pretty dope. Look at this. Literally, you press the little handle here, and it's literally pureeing the whole thing. One of my new favorite gadgets. <laughs> so you want it to be thick and make sure you get all the chunks out. Because this is not like chunks, so I'll take one of So let me just add a pinch of salt. Totally forgot. Just a pinch. And I'm gonna add maybe just a half a tablespoon of maple syrup. It probably doesn't need it. Let me taste. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. I'll just add a half a tablespoon of maple syrup. And this is grade A, organic, raw. Okay. So let's give it another little whisk. Okay. Guys, hold it up. to add I'm gonna pour some in here because once I plate once I plate it you know I want it to make look nice because you know me presentation is key so I'm gonna put this aside our mango sauce is done and now So now we're gonna put together our wrap with our coconut. And this is how it comes. It smells, it smells really good. All right, so I'm gonna try not to be too much of a perfectionist. So I'm gonna start off by adding, and you could do this how whatever order you like. Me personally, I'm just going to do it in the order that I always do it. I always put like the meat and all that stuff first. Then my lettuce and tomato. Mm, a little bit more. Okay. Just a little bit of arugula. Not much because you don't want this to be too stuffed because these wraps are not that big and I don't want it to fall apart. Just two little slices of tomato. And a piece of avocado because I love avocado. Okay. So I fold it down in the middle, take the other little side, kind of like fold it like this, then you're going to take the other side, and fold it like that. And kind of like... Let's see if I wet it with some spring water. It should, this should be able to, to stick. Let's see. Okay, so let me get my plate.
Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. Little cute little wrap. Let me do the next one. And these, I believe they come five to a pack. Yeah, five count. So same thing. And I prep lunch for me and my dad. So it'll probably be like two wraps each and a salad. I'm getting him to transition. He's mainly there. He just hasn't let go of fish, which is driving me nuts, but you know, I can't force it. I'm glad that he's made the changes that he's made. So it's baby steps. Okay, so got that there. Got a little bit of this, some tomatoes. And avocado. All right. So I'll continue to make the rest of the wraps and we'll pick up where we left off so I can show you how to make, how I make my hemp dressing. All right guys, now we're gonna make our hemp seed dressing. And I'm gonna use it, pour it all in here and use my hand blender to mix it all in. So I'm gonna use about one fourth cup of grapeseed oil about a one big tablespoon of chopped onions. About one teaspoon of uh, sea salt. One teaspoon of dill. About one big tablespoon of hemp seeds. One um, tablespoon of onion powder. And I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of ginger. And about two big tablespoons of water. Sorry. About two big tablespoons of water. Then I'm gonna use my hand blender. And this I'll put in the description down below. Um, if you're interested in buying it, you can just click on the link and order. So let's see. I'm definitely gonna need more water. And that was about, I'd say a tablespoon. So I'm gonna plate everything together and show you what it looks like when it's all set up. All right, and this is the final product. Look how amazing and beautifully that looks. So many different colors. You got your spicy mango sauce for your coconut, your coconut wraps, and then you got your hemp seed dressing for this really good salad. And that's a heck of a lunch. Very healthy, very nutritious, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do decide to make it, please tag me and let me know. I would love to see your creations. And as I said, the blender and something else I was gonna put in the description below. I will put the ingredients as well because I know um, me personally, if I'm doing, if I'm looking for edit tutorial, I would prefer to know what I'm working with, the ingredients and all that stuff versus having to watch the whole video to, just, to know exactly what's in there. So I, in the description below, I'll post the ingredients for the coconut wrap and the salad and the dressings. Okay, I hope you enjoy and 
Thank you for watching.